did you get in trouble growing up? Yeah, a lot. I mean, yeah. I'll get into like a lot of fights and I'll just be just going out when I'm not supposed to and everything. Mind you, I grew up in my grandparents, like in my grandparents' household. So, so. it wasn't your mom and dad, it's your grandma. It's basically. my grandma, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mom and dad, were they young when they had you or? Uh, yeah, my mom, she was like 17. Yeah, she was 17 when she had me. It's pretty young. Yeah. So it was just like she didn't know. And then so she, I ended up getting raised by my grandma. Were they American citizens, your parents, when they had you? or? Okay. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. dad, born and raised in Compton. And then my mom, born and raised Rampart. Okay. Yeah. You are, <laughs> this is why I did this shit. Okay. So why were you getting into phase at a young age? What was the main thing causing these fights? For me, it was the environment that I, like, grew up in. I mean, you constantly see, like, my uncles, everybody getting into, like, the street fights, gang fights, and they'll be like, come on, jump in. And they'll kind of, like, push me. I'm like, I don't know what it is. I use them. So, like, when I didn't want to do that, it's kind of like you were, like, forced to get into it because that's where you're around. And also, right. too, when I reached a certain age, I got, like, jumped in. So Okay, this is, you are, oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You got jumped in where? I got jumped in MS-13. Yeah. You might be the first rapper <laughs> that's been jumped into MS-13 that's ever yeah. been interviewed on camera. And the <laughs> fact that no one... You've never discussed this before, have you? No, nah, I felt like I brought it up in an interview before, but they probably they think they clipped it. Oh, I think they, clipped they it. looked over. Yeah. We're not glancing over Nathan over here. Right. Okay, so you were... Because as far as I know, MS-13 don't with rapping at all uh, yeah. they don't f with rap yeah they don't f with that entire genre yeah. of music there's that's why yeah. every single hood got known rappers but so so what was okay i understand why you first chose to get put on that hood but like mm. what was it like like what was it like getting put on that hood for me it was more so like i didn't have a choice it was like my two uncles it was when i turned 13 so, I mean, I did understand that, you know, you get jumped by your gender. I got jumped by, like, 13 dudes on my birthday, on my 13th birthday. So when that ended up going down, it's not something that I wanted to do. And then once, like, once I got jumped in, it was just, like, I was witness to see some shit that I can't, like, disclose. Right. So when that ended up happening, um, word got around, my mom found out, and my mom goes to my grandma's house banging on the door, like, told her to pack her shit, we get in the out of here because she's not feeling like get into like this environment you know it's not nah. so we ended up moving out to az because she didn't uh, want it because my mom's been down that path so my mom's like i'm not gonna do this because my mom's been through it so she's like i'm not gonna like have her go through that so yeah good move mom yeah <laughs> probably save your life yeah so okay wow so you get put on the hood mm. was it your 13th birthday yeah i was 13. Yeah. So you turn 13, and you, what was fading 13 dudes like, first of all? I, I mean, it's not really fading 13 dudes, it's just... Yeah, I mean, you can't, the more you fight back, they, they knock you down some more, but I mean, I was taught, even before, when I was, like, fighting and stuff, to get up, but the more you do that, they're gonna, like, keep f***ing you up. So that's why I got, like, a f***ed up rib right here, because mm. one just, like, kicked my shit so hard that I just, <laughs> I left it. <laughs> and were they around your same age, or these grown-ass men? They're grown, they were really grown men. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what was like so when you moved to A Z, yeah, did you have was there any communication like, hey, like I'm or did they try to talk to you again or is that kind of So like they try to contact me at that time, but my mom ended up like shutting it down, like, yo, like, because they're my uncle, she's like, yo, like, she's not part of it or none of that. So they let that shit rest and everything. They're like, All right, whatever, like y'all lucky y'all over there. You know what I just saying? Like little threats and stuff. So as the years went by, and I started rapping and I started hanging around a certain group of people. They're like, we're not cool with that. You know? Went around black people. They were like, it's yeah. a raise up. Yeah. I yeah. understand that. Not that I agree with that in any capacity, right. but from a gang perspective and knowing the history of all that, yeah. it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I imagine, so you're 13 when you moved to Arizona. Yeah, I was. Was that kind of a bit of a culture shock? You're used, what part of Arizona did you move to? I moved to, it was like a decent neighborhood. We moved to Chandler. I mean, that's Not like, Chandler. it's like a nice, like, it looked like suburban. Like, it was cool. Yeah, because. Looks like paradise compared to the Rampart the, District. Yeah, facts. Absolutely. Yeah. We had a house and everything and stuff, so it was cool. I mean, yeah, the environment and everything was way different compared to out here. Like, the kids, everything, everything was just different. Yeah. So I tried to adapt to it, but I was still, like, 
it didn't leave me like I was still like getting into some shit out there. Did you kind of feel like like I'm the hardest mother in this school? Y'all have no clue. Like I yeah. I literally got put on <laughs> one of the most notorious criminal organizations. <laughs> I've experienced things and seen things that you mother can't yeah. even conceive of. Is that kind of how you felt? Or? For me, like I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't like um, tell them that like what I like that I'm in that. But, but I like bring head. up the I bring up the stories and they're like what like they kind of like i'm sorry to hear that and i'm like nah like it was normal to me i'm like that ain't shit. like right right 